There are a few moments in our lives that define who we are and who we will be. These are breakthrough moments. And sometimes, some of them are small, some of them are big. How many of you remember the first time you rode a bike? Right? You probably were going down a hill, no training wheels, the wind blowing in your face. It probably meant exploring new neighborhoods, maybe making new friends. What about your first plane ride? Right? You were a little bit nervous about that takeoff, but once you were up there, you were just trying to enjoy it and just think about the new adventures, the new places that you would explore. What about choosing a college? Make new friends, expand your horizons. All of those are great moments that really shape who we are today. I'm originally from Puerto Rico. And when I came to the United States for the first time, I did not speak English, and that happens to a lot of people, but I had two objectives. I wanted to learn English, and I wanted to become a chemist. And I'm very blessed, I actually became a chemist. I have a degree in chemistry from Iowa State University. And if you ask my wife, I'm still learning English. <laughs> when I was still back home, I was so excited about this opportunity of coming to the United States to study. So I tell my friends, and my friends, some of them are excited for me, some of them are sad because I'm coming, but at the same time, they're still excited. And I remember, I did my first year of university at, in Puerto Rico, so I'm telling a professor, I would tell anybody who was willing to listen, but I was telling the professor, professor, guess what? I'm coming to the United States. I'm gonna be a chemist in, in, in the United States. And he said, why? Why are you wasting your time and their time? You can speak English. He was right about that. I could not speak English, but I knew that I had to try it. I knew that I had to go ahead and explore this new experience that life had for me. That first semester, every single class that I took, this is how it went. I would go to the classroom, I would open my notebook, whatever the professor wrote on the board, I would write it in my notebook. I would leave a line in between, and I would go back to my room, grab my trusted dictionary, and translate word by word so I could study. Now, the problem really became when the faculty member or the professor would only lecture. <laughs> now I have to rely on the syllabus, my textbook and my dictionary. This was a real struggle for me because coming from high school where I was a honor student and graduated with honors, now I really thought that back home I had it all figured out. I really have felt comfortable about my future and now I'm feeling and I'm experiencing a moment where every day I'm struggling. This wasn't easy, but at the same time, this became a breakthrough moment for me. Why? Because I actually learned how to ask for help. And not only how to ask for help, but how to actually receive that help and be receptive to it. I had a lot of people that helped me, and these are the people that I call, and I will call for this today, breakthrough ambassadors. My beautiful wife was there with me, actually she was my girlfriend at the time, my academic advisor, but I would never forget, I had a student advisor that she actually came to me and said, I have some tools that will help you be successful. So all of a sudden, there was something new for me, these breakthrough ambassadors. Who are, what are breakthrough ambassadors? Who are they? These are individuals that allow you to know and to think that everything is possible. As long as you continue, you persevere, you can be successful. And I want to share, I have a long list of breakthrough ambassadors, but I want to share with you three of them. And when I look at those breakthrough ambassadors, I look also at history. So many individuals that had to endure a lot of struggles to be where they are today and to accomplish some great things. The first one, 
His name is Jaime Escalante. Jaime Escalante was a math teacher at Garfield High School in East Los Angeles. Mr. Escalante had a dream of teaching AP calculus to his, some of his students. But Garfield High School, most of the students would even finish high school. And the, the rest of them couldn't write, read, or do math at a high school level. So a lot of Mr. Escalante's peers would say, why are you wasting your time? But he went ahead and in 1984, he decided to teach AP Calculus and started with 18 students. They went through the entire year and at the end of the year they took the AP test. Most of them passed the test. A lot of people were surprised, including the testing service, which decided that it was a little fishy that so many of those students passed that test and made them take the test over. Now, these students actually went ahead and took the test, and some of them, went, once again, they passed the test because they were actually prepared. By the end of 1987 or so, several years later, instead of 18, Jaime Escalante was already training and teaching almost 100 students at Garfield High School. This is amazing for a group of students that were struggling in life, academically and otherwise. My second breakthrough ambassador, his name is Vivian Thomas. Vivian Thomas was a carpenter by training, but he had big dreams of becoming a doctor. And in the late 1930s, the end of the Depression, he could not find uh, the, the money to become a, a student, a medical student. So he started working, actually find, finally found a job, and started working with a, a lab researcher and a doctor. And every night after he was done cleaning dog kennels and cleaning the lab, he would take some books from the doctor's library and started training himself and teaching himself about anesthesia, about cardiology, about human anatomy. The doctor started trusting more and more in him and allowed him to prep the dogs, allowed him to put the dogs to sleep when, or to give him the dog anesthesia, all the way that now he was actually looking behind the doctor's shoulders to make sure that he understood what was happening. Soon enough, they were working together, and together they designed a technique that will cure and would cure the blue baby syndrome. In the 1940s, the blue baby syndrome was a, it's a common condition that has actually a remedy, and they found it, but it was fatal back then. Toward the end of his career, Vivian Thomas actually trained hundreds of surgeons at John Hopkins University. And through most of that career, he was still categorized and classified as a janitor. My last example, my last breakthrough ambassador, his name is Anthony Robles. Anthony Robles was a high school student in Mesa, Arizona. And he decided to be a wrestler. And during his senior, uh, junior year of high school, he ended up 96 and zero. He was undefeated. His senior year, he was 123. He only lost 15 times. That was so good that he actually received a scholarship to a Division I institution, Arizona State University, where he became a great wrestler again his entire career. He actually won 123 times, only lost 22 times. And in 2011, what it was his senior year, he actually fought, or wrestled, I should say, 36 times and lost zero times. He was again undefeated as a Division I 125-pounder. What made this story so amazing to me, and he became one of my breakthrough ambassadors, is that Anthony Robles was born with only one leg. You know how many times he probably heard, you cannot be a wrestler? But he persevered. And not only persevered to the point that he actually was the best in the nation. That's how we look for these breakthrough ambassadors. And the hard part is that sometimes we cannot easily identify these individuals. Some of them are around you. Some of them are people that have come before us 
that have done some great things, that those things are inspirational. Actually, I will tell you how I pick my breakthrough ambassadors. And those, it works different for different people, but for me, a lot of it had to do between, in the differences between inspiration and motivation. So, let me tell you. Webster Dictionary defines inspiration as the act of moving the intellect or the spirit. And in contrast, motivation is the act or process of giving somebody the reason to do something. You see, one of them is intrinsic, it's inside. The other one is actually, it requires action. And let me give you an example of how that worked for me. Growing up, I used to love Jackie Chan movies. I used to love how he was always funny, but he always would really win at the end of the day, and everybody likes that, that, that challenge, right? But at the same time, I knew that I never want to be kicked upside the head, <laughs> never moved me to be a martial artist. But I always felt good watching his movies. The same way that Anthony Robles, I never wanted to be a wrestler, but I couldn't, I couldn't wait to finish reading about his story so I could say, I need to do something. What do I need to finish next? What do I need to do next to improve my life, to improve my life at work and my house? So you see, a lot of it has to do with those individuals that will inspire you and those individuals that actually will move you. And when they are together, it's what the real magic happened. Inspiration without motivation lacks action. And motivation without inspiration will not be sustainable. So you need to be able to look for those that really put that fire inside of your belly, but that you cannot wait to take action and to move forward. After I finished my first degree, I went back home, and I made a copy of my diploma. And I went to back to my professor, and I told him, Professor, I know that you probably don't remember me, and about Four years ago, you told me something that it was inspiring and it was motivating for me, and this is the reason why I want you to have this. And he didn't remember. And even though it was, an, it was a negative experience at the beginning, it really drove me to finish along with the help of so many other people. So look for those individuals around you that allows you to be motivated, that allows you to be inspired to do something. So please go ahead and be inspired motivated, and be blessed. Thank you. Thank you.